Big shout out to Sporting Icons, best channel out there. Okay, so with Tyson Fury struggling to get an opponent, that's a bit weird, isn't it? WBC what Heavyweight Champion struggling to get an opponent. Well, big baby Jaron Miller has answered the call. He's not the only one. Martin Bacoli also has as well. And Jaron Miller and Tyson Fury, of course, they know each other. Tyson Fury brought in Jaron Miller for sparring in his camp when he fought uh, Dillian White. So they know each other and both are undefeated. So in some ways, that's a good thing because there's too many fighters out there with undefeated records that haven't really stepped up. People need to start losing their O's. They do. So from that perspective, you can look at that fight and go, OK, cool. From another perspective, you could say it, it would be a battle of the two PD shoots. It, it could be that one. But also, in some ways, it's a good fight for Tyson Fury in the sense of he may actually get a lot of the Anthony Joshua fans on his side in that particular fight because of what Jared Miller done with all the PDs that he took and whatever else for the Anthony Joshua fight. So Anthony Joshua fans really dislike Jared Miller. So Fury may actually play a bit of a blinder and have some uh, Joshua fans on his side. Um, but is it a fight that can happen? I mean, potentially it can. But if we're to go by the WBC rules, where the WBC World Heavyweight Champion or any champion can only defend that belt in a voluntary, which of course this is what it would be, a voluntary, against someone in the top 15. Jared Miller is not ranked in the top 15 of the WBC. He is in the WBA. I think he's actually ranked number 10 in the WBA. But as far as the WBC is concerned, he's not. So if, if we have to go by their rules, then that fight shouldn't really be happening, should it? But we know what the WBC are like. They've bent the rules before. Well, they've done it with Tyson Fury, didn't they, in the first Deontay Wilder fight. Fury wasn't ranked in the top 15 of the WBC. They made the fight, and then he miraculously appeared in the top 15, didn't he? So they can and do bend their rules, that is for sure. But is it a fight that you all want to see? Do you want to see Miller and Fury? Would that sell out a stadium here in the UK? Maybe. Maybe. I think a lot of people will probably buy a ticket just to watch Jared Miller get punched up. A lot of people will buy a ticket to watch Tyson Fury get punched up. That, that's two people whose reputation here in the UK is very, very low. Very low. But that doesn't mean people won't buy tickets. and That doesn't mean people won't buy it. Now, the other person who has mentioned Tyson Fury, who is ranked in the, in the top 15 of WBC, is Martin Bacoli. For some reason, Tyson Fury hasn't answered that call. There's an opponent there. He's willing to fight you, and he is ranked in the top 15 of WBC. So why not fighting him? Anthony Joshua isn't in the mood to be playing any more games with Tyson Fury, to go through long, drawn-out negotiations only for Tyson Fury to play silly buggers, as he has time and time again. So we have to give credit to Anthony Joshua for not putting his hand in the dog's mouth again. Fury seems very reluctant to take on Alexander Usyk, makes all the excuses in the world, and if anybody believes those excuses, well, that's on you. That says more about you than it does anybody else. But a fight with him and Miller, is that of interest? Maybe. I think that fight may actually do better numbers than what a lot of people think that it would. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Let's see if that happens. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.